Hello gorgeous Aries, welcome to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards, see what spirit would like to bring through for the month ahead, the month of December. Guidance for Aries please spirit, let's see what messages are revealed. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. And be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading, because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. And spirit does want to bring through direct messages for you for the month ahead. So let's take a look at one of these cards for you, Aries. It's a reflection card. Let's take a look. As you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other for helping others. Reflect on some ways you helped others today. How did you feel when you helped them? So this is about give and take in a relationship. I feel that Spirit is encouraging you this month to reflect on the energy surrounding your outgoing energy and what you're getting back in return and the energy of helping being aware of people, circumstances where you can add, and help, add a helping hand because I feel that's uh, going to come up this month. You're going to be either asked to help out some way or you're going to uh, recognize through reflection um, an area that you can help, someone uh, you can help, or an area in your life that you can um, improve and aid. So this is a beautiful reflection to contemplate on this month. Circumstances are going to take place where there will be an opportunity for you to help others. Or um, for some, you may actually see this energy in your life as someone reaching out to you okay so it's going to be different for each and every one of you how that plays out the spirit wants you to know it's there it's on the way in the month of december aries let's take a look at this deck of cards please spirit for aries this card here the tiger energy and one more card let's see what it is and it's the fly okay let's see so the first card here is the tiger. You are precious. Aries, do not think or doubt yourself. Not, do not think that you are not precious because you are precious in the sight of God, in the sight of spirit, the universal energies. You are precious. So don't let anyone's treatment of you diminish this knowledge within yourself. You are precious and spirit is right with you at this time. If you're going through some difficulties, spirit is right here with you at this time, Aries. And this card here is the fly. You have such a big heart. Let yourself in. So recognizing that you, you have a lot to give. It does tie into the first card here of uh, giving, receiving, help assistance guidance but recognizing you have a lot uh, to offer yourself so it you know these cards are in unison the energies here because if you recognize let yourself into your own heart and feel that love and vibration and care for self you will know that you are precious you will know that nothing can diminish that energy that's what spirit is reminding you of here aries Beautiful energy. All right, let's take a look at this deck. Messages, please, for Aries for the month ahead. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. This one here. Be real, beautiful, full moon in Aquarius. And this card here. New moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Look at these energies, Aries. You are precious. Beautiful tiger energy. And this card here. Know your worth. So this it's a similar message here. Know your worth. Do not let any circumstance outside of your control, anyone in your life, take away 
your own value to yourself and knowing that you have value in the world and to others. Know your worth. Hold on to this. No matter what happens this month, hold on to this knowledge. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are lovable. You are precious. You have a beautiful heart. Keep it open. Let yourself feel that vibration, Aries. And be real. Be real to yourself. Be real to others. No need to be fake anymore if you have been. No need to put up a facade. Show people how you really feel or what you really think. Be real with yourself. Be honest with yourself about a situation in your life. It's time to get real with things. It's time for the truth. It's time for the truth, Aries. It's time for things to get real. All right, Aries, let's see what else Spirit would like to reveal for you. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to someone or to something is going to be tested this month. Going to be different for everybody what this is. But I feel that you have a resolution. You have an idea about... You have a plan going forward with some idea or with something in your life and it's going to be tested. So that means that you have to be real about it. That means that you have to get honest about it if it's in alignment with you or not. So there's going to be a test. There's going to be a test to a commitment. Let's see what else Spirit would like to bring through for Aries. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is full moon in Libra. So there's perhaps a Libra around some of you. That is possible. So this is about balance. Bringing balance into your life. This is about a discord or an argument or tension in a relationship or in in an environment that you have going on Aries right now and you're feeling that there might not be a win-win solution. This could be a bully situation. Someone could be overriding you or trying to control you in some way. Balance is going to come. Balance will come. If not, a win-win solution or outcome is forecast here. So you are not going to lose out. That's really the message here, Aries. You're not going to lose out. There's going to be perhaps a collaboration or a working together. That's possible. There could be some karmic justice coming into play here in your life, or you're going to see it play out in someone else's life. So let's see with this deck of cards, Aries. Spirit, please come through. Bring through a message for, for Aries, what Aries needs to be shown right now for the month ahead. Aries, guidance for Aries. All right, let's lay these cards out. All right, let's see the center card here of the cross. The Wheel of Fortune, okay. Wheel of Fortune, things are changing in your life in a big way. In a lot of your lives, there's going to be a big change. The tide is turning. And it says on this card that the Wheel of Fortune represents the ever-changing cycles of life, both good and bad. Your luck is turning and a new phase of life is beginning. A period of personal growth and extreme change. Extreme change, a life-changing month ahead, Aries. This Wheel of Fortune for you represents that there may be some things outside of your control that may be frustrating you. But there is a, su a surprise, unexpected blessing coming in this month. You won't expect it. That's what I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune for you. A period of personal growth and extreme change. So a life-changing month ahead. 
Success after failure. So that's something to note if you have had a failure, if you have, uh, if you're looking for the upswing. Success comes after a failure. Because the wheel turns, nothing stays the same. Destiny and fate will allow you very little control over coming events. So there's that that message of being um, things being out of your control in some some way. All you can do is go with the flow. And there is a promise of a better future with this card. So I feel this as a reassurance, Aries. Whatever you're going through this month, whatever shows up for you, um, if it is challenging or if you've been through some challenging um, emotions or thoughts or relationships, this means there is a better future. There is a positive future on the horizon for you. All right, let's see what this card is. The Knight of Cups reversed. So this energy, what spirit is telling me for you, Aries, there was an offer or there it looked like things were going well, an offer of a love or, or work or um, good things coming your way. But then it's reversed. Something has been revoked. Something's been revoked from you. That's what I'm seeing here. But it doesn't have to take away your joy. Whatever is being withdrawn doesn't need to detract, take away from your joy in your heart. You are precious, remember, Aries. You are precious. Okay, so this can refer to a man under 40. Attractive, attractive masculine energy. Prone to jealousy and mood swings, though. So this may represent a masculine energy in your life. Uh, someone important to you, they may have mood swings, may be unfaithful in love, not capable of commitment to one person, dishonest perhaps, lives in a fantasy world. In love, he will break your heart. He may cause you to develop long-term distrust of men. Interesting, powerful, impactful message there. You'll know if this resonates for you, if this is... Um, a younger masculine energy. Um, and these these things apply. Okay, so that may be confirmation for you. The Four of Swords. Taking a rest. Um, not worrying anymore. The Swords is about thoughts. So if you have had anxiety or you, you've got some anxiety going on this month, know that this energy is there for you. And there is a restful period coming up. Things will not be as stressful as you think they will be. A personal battle ends. Truce or break in the fighting. Anxious feelings diminish. Let your guard down. Peace and quiet follow stress. You are alone with your thoughts. Stockpile resources and mentally prepare for the next battle. This is just one battle in a long war. So it might not be the complete end of a situation, of a relationship or what's going on in your life, whatever is making you stressed, Aries. But there is a rest period before you move on. The Fool. Okay, so the Fool is about a new beginning. It means that there may be some un, uh, unknown, uh, unknown paths ahead for you. Aries, uh, but if you keep your head held high and you think things through and you don't act in a foolish way, you're going to be okay. Uh, you are unpredictable, or well, there's an unpredictable element with this card, definitely. Open, spontaneous, adventurous, a free spirit, and a dreamer. That's you. Beautiful. You are free of responsibility by choice and do not lack like restrictions. You have the soul of an entrepreneur. So there could be a business uh, uh, opportunity coming up for you or an energy that is like an entrepreneur for you. Signifies the start of a new phase in life. So we have that confirming the wheel of fortune energy. There is a new phase starting for you. Trust in your own ideas and plans, no matter what others might say. Trust in yourself, no matter what other people do, whatever they say. Trust in where you are at. All right, so you have the magician as well. 
Beautiful card. You are well suited for business, science and high tech fields. So that may be something you're considering going into career wise or something you've got going on in your in your life. You are a risk taker and an overachiever, highly organized with tremendous powers of con- concentration. You are flexible and also creative. Determination and the strength of your personality will overcome problems. Take charge and take action. The card of personal power. That's what the magician is, the card of personal power. So perhaps you need to take some personal power back in your life. Perhaps you're, you know, you'll know if this is you, Aries, take some personal power back. You can't control everything, okay, because we have the wheel of fortune. So you can't control other people's actions. Um, things outside of your control are definitely coming into play this month, Aries. But Spirit is saying, look, you do have personal power, of course. You are a precious individual. Do not let whatever's happening in the world, your community, your relationships, um, in your life detract from you knowing that. Um, the magician is about you being capable of manifesting what you want in your life and I do see that happening this month you will be able to have uh, some wonderful manifestation that you've wanted to come into your life and to your life that is very possible here with the cards and the energies I'm seeing Aries a beautiful powerful reading for the month ahead Aries I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's been helpful for you If you did like the reading, you can click the like button. You can subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I really do love and appreciate each and every one of you for all of your support on my channel. A big shout out to everyone who has donated to my channel. You know, I love you guys so very much. It is extremely helpful to keep this channel going. Thank you so much for your support. Have a fantastic month. Stay blessed, Aries, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.